In this video, you will learn how to listen to scientific digital pathology papers instead of reading them. When I read them, I fall asleep and chances are you can be falling asleep too. Hi, I'm Alexandra Zhurev and I'm here to help you do better digital pathology. So if you're ready for this, be sure to subscribe, click the bell below and be notified every time I release a new video. Not sure about you, but I have always struggled with reading scientific literature, be it papers, textbooks, everything that's written in this specific scientific language that is just difficult to read. And especially in a different language, English is not my first language, so it used to take me a lot of time to get through papers. At some point, I became pretty good because I had to do a lot of it when I was studying for my pathology boards. But that was like 2017 and this time is long gone. Let's be honest, reading papers is not going to go anywhere. Regardless whether you're doing digital pathology or any other science, scientific literature is the source of knowledge that you have to follow. And precisely because there is no way around it, I was looking for solutions. I was thinking, okay, I'm going to read it to myself and then listen to it. But that kind of defeats the purpose. Then I have to take the paper and read it, uh, like read it. That's not what I want to do because I hate reading it. So I found a software that reads it for me. And the software is called Natural Reader. And I'm going to show it to you in a second. The inspiration to look for something that reads those papers to me came from audiobooks. At some point, and especially after I had kids, I was too exhausted to read and I stopped reading. And then Audible came to rescue. So this is where this inspiration came to find something that actually is going to read those papers to me. So let me show you the natural reader. The main advantages of this are it's free and it reads to you. Regarding the voice that reads to you, it's a robotic automated voice. Even if you pay for it, there is an upgrade version, it still sounds like a robotic automated voice that reads you the text, which it is. And I'm fine with this because you know what? If I don't listen to it, I'm not gonna consume this information, which I need for my job. So I really don't care that it's a robotic voice. So let me show you. So here we are in Google and uh, we click the first thing that shows up when we typed natural reader text to speech. This is gonna be our natural reader. And it just shows up as this window where you can actually paste stuff. So let's start with that. This is gonna be our first thing and that we're gonna do. So let's see what's happening in the Journal of Pathology Informatics. Um, what's happening in volume 13? Let's pick a paper. This one. Dual segmentation of mitosis with a gun. We can check this one out. And let's do the text pasting. Just let's take this abstract, copy it, and paste to our reader. And it's there. You click on play. And it's going to start reading it to you. This is fantastic. So what I started doing is whenever there is a paper I see on LinkedIn or wherever in Journal of Pathology Informatics, I copy the link, paste it in a notepad. And the moment I have something where I actually can listen to this, which most of the time being a pathologist is reading slides, I paste it or I upload a PDF. So let me show you how to upload a PDF. And then I listen to the whole thing. So if we want to view the PDF and actually download this PDF. Now that we downloaded our PDF, we can basically drag and drop it. And let me tell you, I didn't even log into the software yet. I just clicked on the browser version and it's going to ask me, oh, do you want to sign up or continue with Google or log in? And you can, you can have all your PDFs there and other documents, but you know what? You don't have to. And that's fantastic because I don't want to have my hundredth account with the hundredth password that I have to change every time. I just want to have this paper read to me. So let's skip and we have our PDF. And you know what? You just click play and it's gonna read it to you. This is fantastic. I'm just such a fan of this thing. So let me show you a couple of features that I like. 
and this robotic voice is not the fastest voice on the planet so you can basically adjust here how fast you want it three is for the hardcore people but two is probably for most of us it's gonna be okay if you're more or less familiar with the topic and if you're used to listening to content and I'm very much used to that. Another cool thing that's happening is when you play it, it's gonna show you and highlight what's being read. So if you actually can... So if you actually want to read those papers, if you're one of those people who cannot stand something being read to you without seeing it, you can do it. You can do it at a double speed and actually see every single word that is being read to you. Another feature that is super cool for papers and for scientific publications is when you go here to settings, um, you can do different things here. But one thing that you can do, you can skip reading certain types of text. So you can skip text in brackets, you can uh, in different types of brackets, and you can skip URLs. So that already helps you declutter the audio that you're hearing. There is going to be still some stuff that is scientific literature specific, like figure one and the description of the pictures and everything that you have in the papers that you visually absorb when you read them and not really listen to this. But you know what? I don't care. I'm fine with it. So these were the cool features that you can access from the browser. No account necessary, no nothing. But if you want to go one step further, you can install a Chrome extension. And that's going to give you access to another feature, which is website reading. You just paste the URL and this thing reads it to you. I know, I'm a fan. I might be trying out the paid version soon. <laughs> Okay, so I have here the extension now. We are in our paper. Let me click on the extension. Play and it reads it to you. And that happens with any website. So I follow Heather Couture. She's a machine learning scientist that uh, does a lot of pathology work. And she has very interesting articles. So let's say we want to know about the five ways to make histopathology images models more robust to domain shifts. And we have a podcast on that with her, but just audio. I'm going to link to this in the description below. And you know what? Natural reader can read this to me. So this is how I stay on top of the scientific digital pathology literature and how you can to needless to say, the software of course has an app so you can have it on your phone, listen on the go and have your list of all the papers that you have to go through and go through them as audio. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about this process. I have heard several of you saying, no, I cannot listen to scientific literature. I have to be really focused. Or others say, well, I only get like 70%, but it's better than not reading the paper. And this is where I, I kind of belong. This is uh, my camp. So let me know which camp are you in. Audio for papers, yes or no. And I'm going to talk to you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.